We are with Ryan McCartan at Feinstein's 54 Below. When are you appearing here? Uh, next Monday, November 11th, and then December 9th. Now this is a, you've already done the first show of it, correct? I have, correct? yes, yeah. I have heard such wonderful things about this. One of our reviewers, Jeffrey Lyle Siegel, reviewed you and told me all about it. One of the bravest things I think that he told me was that you had been abused. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I, um, I, so as I think is, is unfortunately very common with sexual abuse victims, when you're young, morality isn't something you decide. It's something that's defined for you by adults that you trust. And so with, with the person who, who committed this act against me, he had groomed me to believe that, that we were in love, that we were dating, that, that I was 12, and that this was like a, a really special thing. And so for the entirety of my life, the decade after that, this was like a, an interesting feather in my cap of being a young man who was not a young man, but of course you think of yourself that way when you're told that, right? Well, and you still are, I mean, well, exactly. because you've been trapped into an age. Right. And so, and so, so being a boy and having this older man who loves you, you think that you're special. And that narrative that I was special and that this was special continued until very recently when I suddenly came to terms with how old I was and how old he was and how, because now I'm around the age that he was. And so I'm thinking, what would it take for me to do what he did to someone who's 12 years old? And I would never, because it's so inappropriate. And that's when I realized, oh my God. Well, I think one of the things that they don't talk about when you're abused is that, first of all, sex feels good. And second of all, there's some kind of innate clock in us that tells us something's wrong. Mm. So there's this guilt that is there. Mm. And I, the reason I wanted to talk about this is because normally it takes you to get to my age mm. to deal with it and realize, oh my God, and become healthy. And you seem to have done it so young. And so, I find that so remarkable. So. I mean, I would love to take credit for that, but, but honestly, what kind of tipped me over the edge, and this is sort of a divisive thing to say, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making any statement on the allegations themselves, but I watched that Michael Jackson documentary, and regardless of whether or not those allegations were true, what it did for me was, as I was listening to these men talk about their experience, I was like, oh my God, this sounds very familiar. And that's when I realized that I was I was also groomed, it, not not to the extent in this like mega stardom way that they claim to have been, but I was also groomed, and that these same tactics are used on one in six men in this country, and obviously more so for women. Um, and actually, the statistics have gotten even greater. They're actually more five for men. Lovely. One in, one in three for women. Me, a fellow person. Wow. That's why I can talk about it. And that's why I wanted to talk about it. Um, let's get on to another subject. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Scotland, PA. Yes. Wonderful. I, I, <laughs> what a segue. <laughs> I know. What could I, you know, make that? What could I say? Right. <laughs> um, do you bring part of Scotland, PA into this new act? I don't actually. Well, um, so I have Taylor Amon Jones performing with me. She stars opposite of me in Scotland, PA. We don't sing a song from Scotland, PA, because if I'm totally honest, I don't want people to hear it here. I want them to come down to the Laurel Pels and see us do it live in living color. Um, but she comes up and we sing together, and I use it as sort of a shameless self promotion plug to say if you like what you hear tonight, you'll love what you hear in Scotland, PA. They say that eyes are the windows of the soul, mm. but I think songs are. I could not agree more. If you had to choose a song, or a cycle of songs that says who Ryan is, what would they be? Oh man. There are a lot of songs that the jazz artist Jamie Cullum sings or has reappropriated for himself. I'm glad there is you, Catch the Sun, Get Your Way. There, there are so many songs by him that just immediately came to mind. Anytime I sing Jamie Cullum, 
I I feel I feel like he gets me. You know what I mean? I feel like those songs were were too written for me. And what are you playing at Feinstein's 54 Below? November 11th and December 9th.